Hi friends, welcome back to React JS Zero to Hero series. This series is for beginners who wants to learn React JS from scratch. In this video, I'm going to explain how your React application actually works. In the last video, I have explained about how to create a React application and we have also created our first React application. Let me open that application in VS Code. Let me first explain the files and folders created so that it will help you to understand how React actually works. Here we can see three folders and four files. Let me explain about the files first. This is a git ignore file. Whatever we are mentioning in this file will be ignored from git. We usually mention node modules folders, few environment and log files if needed. Last file is readme file. We usually give the description of the application, other instructions and configurations. This is just for documentation purpose. Next, we have package.json. All npm packages contain a file, usually in the project root, called package.json. This is the heart of the application. In this file, we have different sections, in which this dependencies section and this script section are important. In script section, we can see some commands. I will come to this shortly. In this dependencies section, we can see some packages, those are required for developing React applications. When we do npm install, the node package manager reads this dependency section and install all the packages inside the node modules folder. So node modules is the folder where all the dependencies gets installed. If we are installing any third party packages through npm, it will be added in this dependency section and also that will be installed inside node modules folder. Next one is this one, package lock.json. The package log.json is a log file that holds information on the dependencies or packages installed for a project. Not only it logs the version of the packages in the package.json, it also logs all versions of the dependencies and sub-dependencies. To avoid differences in installed dependencies on different environments and to generate the same results on every environment, we should use the package log. Apart from this, we have two more folders. Let me open the public folder. Here we have an index.html, which is the single file that will be served. When I explain about single page application, I told only one HTML file will be served. This is that single file. And in this index.html, we can see this fav icon, this logo, and this manifest JSON file are used. If we don't want these, we can remove this code from here and delete these files. And robots.txt file is a web standard file that tells search engine crawlers like Google bots which pages they can or cannot crawl. Mostly we will not change any of these files. And then we have the source folder. Here this setup test file and this test.js files are for unit testing. In React we can do unit test using jest. And this report web vitals file is introduced for measuring the performance of the app. Web vitals are a set of useful metrics that aim to capture the user experience of a web page. You don't want to concentrate more on these files too, because we are not going to change anything in most of the applications. And only if we are going to do unit testing, we will be changing these test related files. So here the important files are index.js and app.js files. This index.css is linked in the index.js and this app.css is linked in the app.js. And we can see this logo.svg file is used here. And this is what we are seeing here. Hope you understood the purpose of each files. Now I am going to delete some files and keep only the required files. In public folder, let me delete all files except index.html. And in the source folder, let me delete all files except index.js. In index.html, let me remove some unwanted code and make it simple. And in index.js, let me delete everything and let me rewrite this from scratch. First, we need to import React and React DOM libraries. These libraries are used to show a component in the browser. Next, here we can see a div element with id as root. We are going to get a reference to this div element. And we need to inform React to show our component inside this div element. 
For that, we can use the React DOM library to inform React to take control of this new element. So let's do it like const root equal to React DOM dot create root of the element. Okay, now we can create our first component and show it in the DOM. A component is a function which returns some JSX. So I'm going to create a function called app. And let me return a simple JSX. In the next video, we are going to deep dive into JSX. And finally, to render this component, we can use the root element we created. Let's call the render method and pass this component inside. Like this. That's it. We can see our React application is working. Now let me explain how a React app is actually working behind the scene. We use npm start to start a React application. So when we execute npm start, the node package manager goes to the script section of the package.json and execute this command. Here we can see React scripts is a package which is mentioned as a dependency. So if we expand this node modules, we can see this is installed here. Inside the bin folder, we can see the actual React scripts file. And we are passing start as an argument. So the respective script file which is present inside the scripts folder will be invoked. And so here, the start.js file will be invoked. So by invoking the npm start command, we are indirectly running this start.js. Here, we are starting a webpack dev server in default port 3000. And to this webpack dev server, we are passing this config file. Here, the entry is configured as app index.js and the app HTML is served. If we follow the path, we can see app index.js is nothing but the index.js file in the source folder. And the app HTML file is the index.html file in the public folder. That means index.html file is served and index.js is executed. If we see in index.js file, we are getting access to the div which is having id as root. And inside that root, we are rendering whatever present in the app function. That is what we are seeing here. Let me modify this and show it to you. So now we can see the updated content. Hope you understood how your React application is actually working. Okay, that's all for today. Please like this video, subscribe my channel and support me. Thank you. Bye.